Earth. This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The football team had a 15-hour trip to get to Honolulu for their game against the Rainbow Warriors, which kicked off at 11 p.m. Central on Saturday. The trip was easily the toughest travel schedule the program has ever faced, and Hawaii proved to be another strong FBS opponent and sent the Panthers back to the mainland with an 0-2 record. As the Panthers will now prepare for their home opener, we look at the trip and the matchup between the Panthers and the Rainbow Warriors. This week's road trip began on Wednesday with the long flight to Hawaii for the team's first look at the island state. A luau that evening provided a dance lesson for some Panthers, including Ronnell McNeil, and a different kind of dance lesson for Xavier Williams and Mac O'Brien. The team would also get to tour Pearl Harbor for an unforgettable experience all before the game kicked off. The Panther defense started the game fired up with plays like this Ronnell McNeil, Isaac Allis sack. After an errant snap led to a Hawaii score, you and I was able to rebound in the first quarter as Cole Morgan flipped a pass over the middle to Billy Williams, a true freshman from Knoxville, Tennessee, who raced down the sideline to set up a first and goal to go inside the 10. That would lead to a Sawyer Cole Morgan one-yard touchdown run, tying the score at 7-7. In the second quarter, Hawaii took a 17-7 lead before you and I's defense delivered one final stop of the first half around midfield as Adam Reth recorded his first career sack and gave you and I the ball with 27 seconds left. Cole Morgan would then hit Brett LeMaster twice, once over the middle and once on the sideline to put the Panthers in field goal range with three seconds left. As time expired, Michael Schmadeke grazed the inside of the left upright and put three more points on the board going into halftime. 17-10 the score at the break. You know, we weren't productive enough and, and we've got to make plays, and, but he also needs production, protection and we got to do a better job in the run game. But, you know, there was nothing on offense that you'd go, go home and write about because it was, it was average. You know, to win a game like this, you got to be above average. you got to be, you got to make big plays. In the second half, the UNI defense would set the tone for the entire third quarter in the opening Hawaii possession, as neither offense would get it going in the third quarter until the end of the quarter when Hawaii pushed the score to go up 24 to 10. The defense in the second half I was pleased with for the most part. The first half we gave up too many big plays. I mean, those, those long passes shouldn't happen. I mean, we've got two great corners and, 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 and we didn't have the right, whatever happened, it wasn't, what it didn't, it wasn't right. So it needs to be corrected because they're the, they're the type of players that can make those plays and you know we need, to, we need to make the corrections there. But on the first play of the fourth quarter, Sawyer Cole Morgan connected with Charles Brown for a 25-yard gain to spark the Panther offense. You and I would complete a 78-yard scoring drive that included a screen pass to David Johnson and ended with a 9-yard TD pass to Kevin Vereen to pull you and I back within seven at 24-17. Late in the fourth quarter with the Panthers trailing by 10 and facing a fourth down and 10, needed a conversion and found it in a pass to David Johnson in the flats who turned it upfield for 34 yards and put you and I's offense in the red zone. That was followed up by a Cole Morgan pass to Darian Miller who gets in for the 11-yard score to make it a three-point game with a minute 56 left. The Panthers would not get the ball back as Hawaii held on for a 27-24 win over the UNI Panthers. It leaves the Panthers 0-2 and feeling that they just missed another opportunity for a win. We had a chance to beat both these two football teams. It's just a football team to me and we should be able to win these games. It doesn't matter who they are, FBS or FCS, and we didn't. So we've got, we've got a lot of room to, to get some work done and get better and get ready to play in the FCS because there's just as difficult teams there as what we faced the last two weeks. Cole Morgan finished the game with 265 yards passing and two TDs. David Johnson had 46 yards rushing and 73 yards receiving. Brett LeMaster pulled in five catches for 57 yards, and the UNI defense totaled 10 tackles for a loss, including three quarterback sacks. Well, I'll give them credit. They they play they they were very they attacked us on defense as, as hard as they could. And then then once they got ahead, maybe they, I don't know. But we made plays when we had to. It shows a little bit of character, but at the same time, we've got to make those plays when we're within one possession of taking the lead. The travel schedule for the Panthers should come to an end Monday morning, putting them a little behind their regular prep.
for the home opener against Northern Colorado. They sure appreciate your support on Saturday. Head to the Dome for the 4 p.m. kick and be loud.